Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. No! I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Don't move! This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring swords, Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. You killed our brother! I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. <laughs> You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there. Ah, <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. I knew I couldn't trust the Whitehills. So 
to ask the Glenmores to keep the peace. You don't need the Glenmores. You have the protection of the Warden of the North. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Release me. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Our sister has influence in King's Landing. She'll hear of this. King's Landing is very far away. Look at what you've done! I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! Please! Please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look! Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. Uh, That's a lot uh, of blood. You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. The poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. Kill me. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. There's no need for war. Lud and I have already come to terms. I've just given you the terms. They're not negotiable. One house left standing. Yours? Or Lud's? And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. <sighs> Ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Arthur. Oh, I'm 
so sorry. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south... We'll worry about that after we get Ryan back. Once we've made the trade, then we can start to... Where is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh! No. No. Oh, no! No! Arthur, no! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me! Don't look, Helena. You don't need to see this. Yes, I do! He was my brother. I, I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now, to die! Like this. Tortured. Mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies. Elena. I'm sorry. Someplace, well. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But... I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. 
Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. That's fine by me. I don't need friends who get so easily overwhelmed. It makes me sad to hear you talk like that. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. Thank you for your help. They'll be very grateful. I better go before she sees me. She will be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. It may have cost me a lot. I know. Thanks, Asher. Oh, we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asher. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back! <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Nothing out the ordinary, Your Grace. We fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> what does it matter? We completed the mission, as promised. Surely that's what's important. Obeying your queen is what's important. I thought you told me your nephew is a man of honor. But he cannot even take responsibility for his actions. Your Grace. You killed the Master Dezor Zoraza when I told you his judgment belonged to the slaves of Marine. And now you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. Because Beska was Dezor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. Your Grace, we risked our lives for you. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Apologies, Your Grace. 
But we need fighters now, not gold. Gold can buy many things. A sellsword like you should understand that. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. But if she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. You'd abandon us with the White Hills at our doors. We need every sword. What's a sword to a dragon? Just think what this alliance might mean for your house. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. Eska, I'm... Don't fucking say it! It seemed like the best defense we had. The scum had it coming. Now he's dead, and we still need soldiers. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asha. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going North. We're going South. To join Mance. And the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? Oh, what does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. It happened when we escaped Castle Black. There were men chasing us and... That wound's fresh as can be. Are all crows liars or just him? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadded a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, 
We don't need to die for him. Well, we've made it this far, haven't we? Getting here was the easy part. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear, I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. But she's refusing to help. You heard her. Her mind's made up. She can be stubborn when she wants, but if she's going south, then so am I. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? They can try to kill me if they want. I won't let them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't frighten our dinner away. I was never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I may do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. That's better than making do. You're not a bad shot. You'll do nicely, little one. Would that be enough? <laughs> you ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. Come on. May not be as good as the feast you're used to at the wall, but we won't starve, that's for sure. You're a fair bowman. Might be nice having someone like you around. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? 
Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Do you know where it is then? I know where they say it is, but you'd be mad to try and go there. Why is that? A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope and none of them ever returned. That won't happen to us, Sylvie. I was sent to find the North Grove. That doesn't mean that you'll- Help! Cutter! Sylvie! Harry! Oh, get back! This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. I've got enough gold to buy them all. Mm, I'd be careful flaunting it. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what?! What the fuck?! Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Usher. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> if they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska! The fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can, but not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One, two. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what... Hey! Hey! Whoa! 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 whoa!
Well, hello there. Amoya! Take her! You must want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. One that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me, on all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. You have a problem with her? Deal with me. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! I'll make you all rich! Your masters, they used you. They made gold from your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. Amaya. Trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? How about the belly here? You might wish so. His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. I've never seen him before. Take a good look then. Eh, I thought worse. And what do they call that, that scary one with the two axes and the skull tattoo back in lease? What, was it pestilence, plague? The Scourge. Right, the Scourge. Anyway, he's dead. Well... Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. This cockless Westerosi, he's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. Look, this wasn't my choice. I'm not here to kill anyone. Well, we all know that's true. No. <laughs> It's not what I meant. Choose a weapon and try not to die. 
Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me! Here, use this! Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. For that, you die slow. That's no... See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me. And you will have glory and gold! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! I knew them! What are those? 
those things! Oh, God! Get over here! Over here! North Grove, that we need to stick together. Run! No! I hope you're right about this, Garrett. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You made it clear your loyalty was with Lady Marjorie. Yet now, you hardly serve her at all. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. I try to be, Your Grace. Hmm, I see. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet, Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I asked a friend to help me. I see. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. I have before, Your Grace. And I would again. You are resourceful, aren't you? 
Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. You think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. After you sold me out to Daenerys, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your Foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. Vesco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with, uh, swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger. And you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. 
And I've grown tired of talking to myself. Well, thank you, but I'd rather not. You go ahead. Nonsense. I insist. Cheers. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Willingly. Lady Marjorie sent me. Did she? With wine from Circe's cellar. How generous of her. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. He'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. You heard the girl. Go. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. I'm the one using her. <laughs> if that's what you think, then you're more foolish than I thought. She's taking care of a problem for me. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. To be honest, I don't care what Lady Marjorie thinks of me. Hmm. I thought you were smarter than that. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> What should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. <sighs> Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, you didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. Do you have any? No. Not about this. What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are? We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone! Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh! I, I didn't realize you two were... 
I mean, I didn't realize she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right, then. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Were you seen, Talia? No. It was dark, but... I saw him. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. Dahlia, I'll do the right thing. You know me. I do know you. That's why I need you to promise. Promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister... I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. You scared the bloody daylights out of... What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. You sold your loyalty. Like some whore in the street. My loyalty has always been to this house. But you've been too damn blind to see it. Now what I didn't see is that you were a traitor. You pushed me to this, Roderick. I trusted you, Ryland. With my life. Tcha! You'll trust anyone who makes the right noises. You know why? Because you're weak. You're weak. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too, since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Kissing Lud's ring. When you knew we had to show strength. Bungling your betrothal to Elena. Doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Letting Griff force you to the ground. Without a shred of dignity. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Roiland. You've had every opportunity to save this family. But you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. You betrayed us all, Roiland. My father included! I've held true to what I believed, which is more than I can say for you. 
The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all I them. swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing! Just sentence me and be done with it. Roderick, you promised. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick! What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. I'll spare your life. Now talk. You're a bigger coward than he is. Mira cost Lud his army. He's desperate to strike back. He's going to ambush Asher the moment he makes landfall. No! You must protect Asher. Protect the true lord of this house. Take this traitor away. Get your hands off me! What Roiland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Smell that. We're almost there, Vesca. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your lovemaking for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. But what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Ironrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? They don't know him. A lord sounds an awful lot like a master. Roderick. He's the lord of the house, and he's been bred for it. I understand, but these men and women have journeyed here to follow you, not him. Oh, you'll see when you meet him. Doesn't matter if he can't fight like he used to. All men learn to love Roderick. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly. And small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asher! Thank the gods you've made it back. Good to see you, my lord. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord knows you're coming. He sent men to intercept you. We need to hurry. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Could use a good fight. Uh, 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 
been a while since I killed any White Hills. It's up to us! without one of us holding it. One of us has to stay. Asha! Come on! Don't you dare leave me up! Go, Roderick. I know what I'm doing. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Go! You bastard! Basker. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I came here for you! Stay by my brother's side. He's your family now. I will, little brother. Rip their fucking hearts out! Oh! 